A new one I've been seeing and talked about lately is David off Cool Water Wave. And obviously, if you've ever been into fragrance, you know David off Cool Water. I've got a little bottle of the original I got here back in, good God, I don't know, 2009, 10. And I've got a bottle of, this one was called Frozen Fragrance that I probably got in 2010 or so. So I wanted to compare them for you. I've been wearing them for a few hours to see if Wave really is a worthwhile purchase if you have any of the other ones. Uh, first off, you know, you've got the original. They have enough cool water. And this one, for the price, I mean, it's cheap. It doesn't last the longest or project the most, but it smells great. It's that fresh, watery, earthy scent, right? There's a lot of herbs in there. There's a lot of woods, muskiness. It's a great complex scent, especially for the price. That's why it's a classic, right? Love it. So you've got that as, you know, the original. And then another one. And again, this one's pretty old. I think it came out in like 2004 or so. Maybe? I don't know. I'm guessing a lot of you haven't smelled it. It's Frozen Fragrance. And this one, pretty similar, quite honestly. Difference being, this one has some orange blossom in it. It takes away some of the earthiness and it adds that orange blossom. So that alone, it gives you this, this fresher, more citrusy vibe that the original one doesn't have as much of. Feels cool. Um, I don't know that I get frozen from it, but it smells great all the time. A frozen fragrance, I love this during the summer. So, I was very interested in trying Wave. That's their latest. Back to that original bottle. No more frosted cool bottle with that. Oh, Twilight, same as the other guys here. Now this one instantly is way different than the other two. Those two are pretty similar. This one strips it down even more. It gets away from all the earthiness pretty much because the top notes, it's got grapefruit and Szechuan pepper. So very fresh, very fruity. It's got birch tree in it. It's just, it's a totally different scent, but it's still got that aquatic note to it, that seawater, the cool water, if you will. Here's the problem with this one. I like the original because of the earthiness, because of the musk, everything that's going on with it, right? As you keep stripping away everything, what do you have? Just a lame flanker of cool water that doesn't perform, doesn't deliver. Out of the three I sampled there over the past few hours, this one is gone on my skin practically. It's the weakest by far. Um, so it does smell nice, but you're gonna be reapplying it. You're gonna be putting more of it on. Um, and for the price, if you really want it, if you already have it, you know, great. It's not bad. It's just, it's lacking what the original had, I think. So if you really want Davidoff Cool Water, you probably already have it. And if not, this is the guy to get. Davidoff Cool Water. Again, I just have the little bottle, but it's worth a big purchase because it's, what, 30, 40 bucks tops? I don't know. Check it out. I got links in the description if you're interested in any of those. Let me know what your favorite Cool Water is. Is there another one I should be trying? I'm guessing there is. Let me know. Uh, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more like this. Hit that like button if you like the video. I really appreciate it. You guys take care.